Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. So over the past few weeks, we've done a little bit of Peruvian cooking and it's turned out so well that we're doing something else today. Uh, we did the Peruvian pork adobo, turned out incredible, and the Peruvian chopped salad is a huge hit at this house. And it has been with all of our guests. Did you know that three quarters of the world's alpaca population is in Peru? Me either. Also, did you know the potato originated in Peru? Me either. But we're not gonna cook with potatoes or alpaca today. We are making a Peruvian hot dog. The first thing we need to do is make salsa carilla. First step in that is taking a red onion and we're going to cut that into slices and then immediately put those slices in ice water. This is to take some of the strength and bitterness out of the onion flavor. Okay, so the onion needs to set for five minutes. In the meantime, we're going to get a red bell pepper cut similarly. And we're just gonna chuck those into our bowl over here. To our peppers, we're going to add four tablespoons of diced cilantro, two tablespoons of olive oil, a pinch of salt and pepper. Now, I need the juice of two lemons. Well, last night we made Middle Eastern pizza, lambayajine. And typically with a piece of lambayajine, you squeeze some fresh lemon juice over it uh, before you have the piece. Now, I've got a bunch of pieces here instead of a whole lemon. So we're gonna try and make this work. All right, as we are waiting on our five minutes for our onions to finish the salsa carilla, now we're gonna work on the cilantro jalapeno crema sauce. So I need to have one jalapeno here that is de-seeded and de-veined. And the best trick for this is a spoon. Okay, we're gonna give that a few rough chops here and chuck it in the Vitamix. Along with that goes three tablespoons of cojita cheese a quarter cup of chopped cilantro, and a quarter cup of crema. So if you don't have crema or can't find crema, then use just shy of a quarter cup of sour cream and then add a little bit of milk into it because the consistency of crema is a little bit uh, more liquidy than uh, sour cream. All right, now we just liquefy our sauce here. All right, now we're gonna get our sauce into this bottle here so we can get it on our hot dogs and make it all pretty pretty. All right, scratch the initial plan. We're gonna add another quarter cup of crema to this because uh, it's too thick. All right, so we're gonna eyeball this one. There we go. And remember, even an international YouTube celebrity can occasionally screw things up, but we can fix it. Oh, I wasn't talking about me. I was talking about Sam the cooking guy. He screws stuff up all the time. Anyway. Now we got the consistency I want. And after cleaning up my spectacular mess, I'm gonna get that in the refrigerator and let that chill as we get the rest of the stuff together. All right, it's been well over five minutes on the onions. I'm gonna get these well drained, then we'll mix it together and then get this in the refrigerator for a half hour. All right, onions in, get it all mixed up, get those onions broke up, mixed in with that oil and pepper and cilantro. Fantastic, into the fridge for a half hour. Wash the paws. All right, so we're down to our final stages here. Uh, I have my Ninja Grill XL is preheating and it is now ready. So we are gonna use our homemade hot dogs here. They're a combination of beef and pork and unlike the ones you get from the store, they are not cooked yet. So I'm gonna roast those in the Ninja XL grill for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Done it before, comes out great. And also, I have my oven preset to broil. We're gonna to toast up some buns. Hot dogs are all cooked. It is time to put this thing together. I forgot to mention at the very beginning the inspiration for this. Uh, this comes from a restaurant out of Oakland called Stew the Llama. They have the Peruvian dog on their menu. I saw an article about it and uh, I was inspired. So here we go. First we get our bun, we lay down our dog, then we get some of that salsa carilla on it. All right, so let's get to making this. Okay, bun down. 
Then we get some of our salsa corilla down. And full disclosure, uh, I just made one a second ago and I put the hot dog in first, then I put the salsa corilla in it. Uh, it was a big freaking mess. So this is a much better method. Then we go with our hot dog. Then on top goes our cilantro cojita jalapeno crema. All right, before I give this a try, if you're liking what you're seeing, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, never miss an episode. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays until I change it. Okay, let's give this a try. Mmm. The freshness of the salsa corilla, that crema is on point. It all works together beautifully. This is definitely something you want to give a try. So, I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. <laughs>